Hello! Today we're going to show you how the Passport Quick Start Guide steps you through creating a new stock item, and how we can then receive that stock item into inventory using a mobile device, which is perfect for training new users. The Quick Start Guide is one of the first panels you see on the screen. If you are not seeing the Quick Start Guide, you can click the Home Screen View drop-down, and then select the Quick Start box to enable it. For step one, we have the basic setup information for creating stock items and locations. Step two is receiving your inventory. Simple as that. You'll see step three is for other day-to-day -day transactions. And step four is for viewing your inventory. Let's, let's start at the beginning with step one. I'll click on the stock item icon. We currently have a few stock items in the system but I'll create a new stock item, which we will receive later. Most products already have a UPC SKU or barcode number, which you would enter here. However, for today, I'll make one up. Next, we'll enter a description for this item so that we know what it is. Finally, we'll also apply a category to this item as well. Passport is a barcode-based system, so let's print the stock item barcode. If you have a default printer setup, you can click this barcode icon next to the stock item number field. Or you can print to your Windows printer using Avery sheet labels, or an actual barcode label printer from the barcode section at the top of the screen. Now, let's click Save on the right. Let's get back to the home screen where the Quick Start Guide is. Also in step one are locations. Next, we need a location to receive our inventory. There are many locations already, so I won't add a new one right now. But I will show you how to print a barcode catalog of these locations so that we can scan them later. Click the barcode icon at the top. Next, choose the barcode catalogs tab. Next, select catalog preset. Then choose locations. Finally, click the select all checkbox and we'll print this to a Windows printer to a regular sheet of paper. Now, Let's get back to the home screen where the Quick Start Guide is. We did all that we need for step one, which is the basic setup information. So now, step two. You'll see a mobile device icon to the right of the receive on the Quick Start Guide. This means we can use our smartphone app and use the receive transaction to add some on-hand quantity of the stock item we just created. Let's see how this works on a smartphone. Here in the Passport mobile app, at the main menu, choose Transactions. Then choose the Receive Transaction. I'll first start by entering the location where we're receiving the inventory. You can enter the details by either typing them in, or in the case of fields with green text, you can select the text if you prefer to choose from a list of available options. For this example, I'll scan from our barcode catalog. Next, we'll scan in the stock item barcode we just created. Finally, we'll enter the quantity we're receiving. That's all the information I've set up to gather right now, so I'll go ahead and tap the check mark at the top right of the screen. Note that I have the ability to capture more information if I need to, but for this example, I'll stay with the basics. Now back to the desktop application. Quick start step one we did here in the desktop. We did step two on the smartphone. Let's move over to step four, which is viewing stock inventory. Clicking the inventory icon takes us to the stock inventory page where I can do a search for the stock item just received.
In summary, the Quick Start is a great built-in tool for training new users, as well as a reminder for existing users on how to use the system. Thanks for watching.